everyone, it's Sandra from Midwest Charm. I apologize, I'm not back on schedule yet with my videos. Um, it's just been chaotic in winter and germs and it's been rough. Um, I do have one for you today and I've got one I need to edit and get up for you later this week. I have company coming into town so I'm not sure if I'm gonna have one this weekend or not. If she wants to go thrifting with me, maybe we'll get another one up. Um, I did get two trips to the thrift store done. This week, in both days, I got 50% off. Um, so my any prices that are on these items, I actually got cheaper, obviously. So um, let's get going. I'm gonna do this in two groupings. I'm gonna do the stuff I'm gonna put up for resale on eBay, and then the stuff that's gonna go um, be DIY projects or go into the store. Um, let's get going here. So first off, look at this cute ninja mug. I saw this side of it and it says, trust me, I'm a ninja and I fell in love. It made me laugh in the middle of the store and then I turned it around and saw this. So I had to grab him. He was 99 cents. Um, this is Big Mouth something ink, Big Mouth ink. I have no idea if this is from a TV show or what. He just made me laugh. Um, if you have any ideas, I haven't researched any of the stuff I bought yet. You know, feel free to post in the comments. I found a Starbucks vase. Did you know they did vases? I had no idea. Um, this is from 2006. It's cute. It would have been perfect to have up for Valentine's Day. Uh, it says loving. I don't know if you can see that. On house, it's a pink heart flower. Pink in the middle, and I still have my tag on there. Um, but that will go up on eBay. And then I got these platters. There's a set of two. Oh, the vase was $1.99, so half off of that. Uh, I got these two platters. They were marked $2.99, so I paid $1.50 for the two of them. They are Shenango, Shenango, China, um, from the USA. It's got some a series of letters on there. It's got really beautiful teal and lime green, um, which kind of gives it that mid, mid-century modern vibe, which I do really well with. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep one of these and list the other one, or if I'm just gonna put them both up. I would probably do separate auctions. When I do um, platters or like cheese trays together, they don't sell as well for me. If I do them as singles and then list the other one later, they tend to do a little bit better. So I'm not certain how I'm gonna do that yet. And then I got these really cute plates. These are got that mid-century modern vibe as well. There's a set of three. They are from Salem. Um, I think the pattern's called Simplicity. That's what the back of the plate says. I have no idea. I paid $3.99 or, yeah, $3 for the three of them. So I paid half of that. So the $2 for three of them. I will list these together up on eBay. I just need to be very careful. I hate when they use tape and they have a silver or gold on it because it tends to sometimes pull it up. So this will get soaked in some nice hot water so it'll just peel up good and hopefully it won't remove my mark or the, the silver on the edge. Um, and that's it for my eBay resale. I am not really looking for a lot of it right now. These were just really great deals and I love them. I've got three boxes of stuff I need to get listed. And it was actually my goal to get that all listed this week. And then everybody just kind of felt blucky and icky and we even had um, you know days home from school. So I didn't get to my boxes. So I'm not really putting a whole lot of effort into finding um, relisting stuff because I have so much I need to get done. Um, and I've been so much in production mode trying to get my DIY projects done for the store that I'm now in. Um, so I've kind of been busy with that. So the last set of this, um, I, you're not seeing a couple things like my daughter picked out a couple shirts, things like that, that just didn't make the video because they're personal use items. Um, found this, you all know, I love the things with the drawers. Um, this has four cute little drawers. It's got that awesome chippy paint look to it. Um, this will get a good cleaning up. I might wire brush some of the extra chippies off. Otherwise, this will probably just go into the store just as it is. It's got some great springy colors in it. So I think this will be good to go as is. It's absolutely adorable. I paid um, $6.99 for that, so half off. $6.99, $5.99 for that. It was half off, so it was three bucks. I got this little wood box with dividers. Um, it looks like a crate on two sides with handles and then just solid. I haven't decided 
if I am going to put something on the sides that are solid or not, I haven't decided yet. Um, it was $4.99, so I paid $2.50 for it. Um, great deal on that. I'll, uh, that should sell pretty quick, especially if I put like some painted jars and flowers in there. It'll look adorable. I found candlesticks. You know I look for these every time I'm in a thrift store. Um, these are really cute ones too. They're a little different. I kind of got a shiny finish to them, so I would probably have to do um, some a couple extra steps just to make sure my paint sticks to it. And they were $1.99 each, uh, so $0.99 cents each. I will paint these. I've been really going with spring colors um, the past few days when I've painted um, some pretty, pretty spring green on my birdhouse. Um, like lemonade yellow. This, this, I can't, the light's like funky in here right now. Um, just some really, really pretty light blues and pinks. So um, these will probably get a pretty spring color on them. You know, my usual distressed and sealed up. I grabbed these. These were um, all sold together in a bag and they were $1.49. I, there's four wood napkin rings in here and a bunch of just plain brown plastic ones. The plastic ones I'll probably make it back into the redonate pile, but the wood ones I will pull out and paint up um, probably a pretty cream color or a white color. And then we have this jar with a wood lid. Um, um, we had two of these. The other one was a taller one and it stood up and it was kind of narrow. It was super cute. I've been painting the lids on these and then putting them up either on Facebook marketplace or, um, in the store. And the other one took a tumble out of the car and it didn't make it in. So it was only $1.50. I'm not too heartbroken. This one was $1.50 as well. And then last but not least, this cute tray. Um, I like the little hardware they have on it. I don't know if you can see the twist in there, but this was $4.99. This will get cleaned up, painted. Um, I'll do a food safe paint on this and then seal it up with a food safe sealant. Also, a cute little serving tray. It'll be adorable. Um, and that's it. Like I said, there's some other stuff that didn't make the haul. Um, we did a lot of retail arbitrage this week, so things on clearance. We found stuff that I can use for signs um, and we hit the jackpot for iron-on stuff and for um, like infusible inks and things like that for my Cricut and I'm really excited about those so lots of projects oh and some stain wood stain um, lots of projects coming up but we even found a couple of shirts that I'll be able to use for iron-on and for the different projects too so I'm really excited um, it's been busy, but I'm feeling better, and the kids are mostly feeling better. I have one with no voice at all right now, but watch for my other video this week. Um, I'm thinking Wednesday, Thursday-ish. Wednesday is when our company comes into town. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. I really do appreciate it, and we will see you next time. Bye!